kept in tight, baby. Boys, ring that bell. <laughs> seven by nine with a set of nuts. Oh, there he is. Another one on the tube. Looking for a steelhead, but I'll take him. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god! All right, here we go. We're getting the truck loaded up and we're going on a crazy adventure. Yeah, I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Ready to <laughs> roll. When my dad first told me that we were coming out to John's property to go mule deer hunting, I was ecstatic with happiness. It was an absolute amazing offer from John. And so we took him up on it. It was right in the middle of our season and we decided to just uh, cancel a week and go do some hunting with him. We're lost. We're, we just got off the pavement and we're already lost. <laughs> no, we're not. Here we go. Wait, wait. Nope, we are lost. <laughs> Come on, Indian tracker. This, this is our new ranch that we bought. <laughs> That's my house over there. This white trailer's Dave's. <laughs> and there he is. The man, the myth, the legend himself. There's John. Ladies and gentlemen, this is John. You guys might have seen John somewhere in our Alaska content. I don't know if it'll be out by the time this comes out, but a good friend of ours yeah. invited us out to his ranch. Oh. Do a little hunt. We're gonna do a little hunt. We're gonna do a little deer hunt. We're gonna be doing a little bit of steelhead fishing. Kind of a little bit of everything. Huh? Yeah, we're gonna have a whole mixed bag of things to do, so. And we're yeah, We're really excited. <laughs> I've known John, actually the first time I met him, he was probably about 11 or so. We all hit it off. He's a lot like us, and over the years, he's become a really good friend. Now he, we fish together in, in Oregon. He fishes with Nick, too, and we just have such a great time with John and so excited to come out here and, and get a hunt on his land. All right, guys, we're going to take the first little gander at the house here. Wow. Oh, my God. Here we go. Lucky, lucky. John, have you ever shot a deer? Yeah, just a few. Look at the <laughs> mass on this thing, guys. My, I mean, there's my hand in perspective. It's huge. Ooh, this one's cool. Look at the little kicker That's on this one. I love those little extras. Killer bucks, guys. Hopefully, we get a chance to take a peek at one of these up close and personal. So here, guys, this is kind of what our, from the porch. This is their their ranch. So what is it, wheat grass, John? Just wheat, yep. Wheat, so they do wheat. And it's what, 14,000 acres, you said? Yeah, so this, my dad divided the land with his brothers. And so this field right here is my brothers and the lines kind of out where Dakota's working there. This field, when it was contiguous, when my grandpa owned it, was the single largest agriculture field in all Oregon. Wow, dude, that's crazy. It's huge, and I don't know if it's true or not. They said it was, I tried to do the math in my head about it, but. He said to do the outside round of this one field was like 70 miles. Jeez, just to go the outside. Just do the outside rounds, yep. Wow. So we have a dry land wheat farm and I am third generation. I, I can't imagine me doing anything else. I mean, it's live in paradise basically. It's one of the coolest jobs you can ever have. There's there. his dad, actually, if you can see that dust that trail does, way out there, that's his dad. And then Dakota, who you guys will see here soon, is on that tractor maybe somewhere mm -hmm. out there in that field. This is not just your come and play ranch where they do hunting and stuff. This is a good friend of ours who's taken us in and just given us the opportunity that is unbelievable. We're extremely grateful for it. Super, super, super excited as you can't tell. <laughs> look at the smile. On, look that's at Max's giggling. smile. This giggling this like a school girl. We got loaded up in the side by side and we went out and uh, first night we saw a couple of nice bucks. Look at what we're looking at right now. We saw a little buck down here. It's amazing guys, it's just it unbelievable country. We got the spotting scopes out, got the binoculars going. 
can't shoot till morning, but I'm doing a lot of research right now. We've probably seen 12 does or something. I think we're, we're about to see a few more. Here we go. <laughs> I'm excited to come out here with Dad, Nick, and John, and I'm mainly really excited to get hands on with a nice, big, beautiful mule deer. So in Europe, in Russia, the handles are on the other side. <laughs> Before you shut the door, you're supposed to move your foot. You guys can't even see me. I got so much camo on. <laughs> Well, it's opening morning. The time has come. They're right over here. Yeah. We found them last night. Saw a couple monsters. <laughs> I've got buck fever already. <laughs> I'm shaking a little. I, got, I can't panic. Nobody panic. There can't be any panicking right now. We'll be after it here in just a few. Right. Let's go. Okay. Right. It's not, boys. This is probably as far as you've walked in at least the last six months if you add it all up. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I mean, how far is it from the from the dock to my boat yeah. to my trailer? Yeah, times 90. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll keep going.
coming from where we hunt from over on the coast, we're looking at those deer and we're like, those are pretty nice deer. There was a nice three by three in there and a little fork and horn and then a really tall spike. I mean, you don't see, most deer spikes are pretty small. This thing had 14 inch spikes on it. John tells us, no, we're not shooting those. And all of us are kind of like, well, those are pretty nice deer, you know? <laughs> like we, not knowing really what we're getting ourselves into on day one. They're leaving. Why are they blowing out of here? Something just spooked them down there. Oh, what did I hear in front of us? Yeah, there's, oh, there's deer in front of us. Another oh, bug. Big. All of a sudden, they all just take off. John thinks that, you know, there was something that spooked them, whether it be a rock falling or whatever it is in the canyon, or, or they spotted us or winded us. And those bucks kind of pounce out of the canyon and out of our life forever. Uh, Jesus Christ, dude, he's a giant. Oh. All right, guys, so we just spotted those five bucks in here, and we think someone's down in the bottom or something and jumped them out. So they're gonna, three of them are gonna loop around the canyon, and me and Dakota are gonna kind of go up over the top and just kind of watch over in case they kick something out. So Sean's gonna go with those guys, and I'll see you guys back at the ranger. Let's go, baby. Going uphill, first gear, baby steps, baby steps. I'm getting a good calf workout right now. I got powerful calves. Heat of the day. Crossing the road down there. Just down, just over the hill where the road and the flat, they're crossing it right there. It's like, hey, let's just sit down. Maybe they'll come into their bed, and they sure did. <laughs> well, that was bow hunting with a rifle right oh, there. Yeah, that That's was what that was. That was really cool. We were stopped, and we were waiting for Dakota and Nick to come pick us up. And I just so happened to look down on the river, and uh, uh, there's some guys fishing. I thought, wow, those guys really moved up there fast. And I pulled my binoculars up on them, and there was elk crossing the river to us. Chances are they're going to come up. And are these go. your same elk? No. There's, there's multiple those, herds? Yeah. So they'll, they'll roam around. There's a lot of area for them to cover. They can have a big wandering range out here. On your side or the other side? On our side. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's four, five, six, seven, eight bull. It's come eight here. bulls? Come here. Dude, they're coming right our way. Might be making a new move. <laughs> no, like seriously. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're walking right into my property. There's some good cows in there too. Oh yeah. And that immediately just changed our plans. We switched gears from deer to let's go get an elk. I just watched the elk cross the river and they went in this canyon right here. Right here? 
and, and, and to Rob. Neighbor says, oh, and, I, and to Rob, so I texted Rob. I said, Rob, can we go shoot a cow on your place? And he said, go for it. Came right up this draw. Yeah, the big so one or the next one? The the next one, where There's all the sagebrush is. Yeah. yeah. So and those three There's off. There's a deer right there. There's a buck. A buck right there. Two bucks. Two bucks. No, we don't want those. I'm just gonna hunt right here. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a lawn chair, <laughs> umbrella, shade. John looks up on the the knob where we had done our morning hunt, and John looks up there and he's like, "Oh my gosh, there's 40 elk up there, right below the edge of the field." Dude, they're all piling in the car body where we just were this morning. They're going to a spot where we can. Where? See the saddle, the flat saddle right there? Yeah. Where the field, you can see a sec. Just look below, you can see him running across. There's a giant bull in it. He's oh, yeah, 10 the from the back, or six from the back. So that canyon where we saw those bucks this morning, that's where they're at right now. So if we would've just sat there, I'd have killed an elk. <laughs> You'll, you'll find out, Nick, that if you pretty much sit in one spot, something will come by. <laughs> That's not the same herd we saw. No, there was like nine. <laughs> He's like, they're going to end up in the exact draw where we deer hunted this morning. So we hop in the ranger. We go shooting across back out of this canyon, up this steep hill, all the way back, track our way back to the original hunt in the morning. Dude, they're just chilling hard. They see us though, they're watching us. Are you not wanting to go there? It could happen, guys. We're on the move. John, they're in the field. They're in the field. Oh, I bet you those elk yeah. got went in there. Got blown and out. And like I thought they were going to, and then this big herd came in there and pushed them out and yeah, scared them up. Yeah, in the I head. bet that's what this is. There's this is two different, different elk. Here. I can't cut these things off. It's like he's gonna sure right now, dude. Just <laughs> that's them. It's gotta be, dude. I can oh, see dust nice. up there. And they're on the full run. Stop, stop, stop. Right there. There they are. I see them. Get out. Gross. In Nick fashion, his door slammed and spooked the herd out. He was upset with himself. He he knew what he did. But I, I wasn't really sweating it. The other herd of elk was not far away and I knew they were gonna be in there. You know, when this all started, John says, get the cow elk tag. He's like, you might have a plate and elk. We do see them when we're hunting quite a bit, but he's like, I wouldn't count on it. And if we saw a cow elk, we would, we would, you know, take the opportunity and harvest one. They're great eating. They need to be managed just like any other animal. And so I, I was completely okay with it. Lo and behold, they were right around where I thought they were going to be. And we just belly crawled right up to them. So we separated from the other guys and we, we started belly crawling. And we just crawled real low and got within shooting range of where we could, where we could see where they went in. Then we saw this satellite bowl run up out of the draw. We all thought, oh no, they're blown out of here. But as what happened was that that bull elk just kind of shimmied out, got kicked out of there, and he went up and over the hill. We still had eyes on those cows. So they stayed, the bull left, which was great because we don't have a bull tag at this point. So we, we shimmy down the hill, we get set up, and all you can really see is their heads, their eyes, some ears in there and we don't even know how many's down there. You know, at this point you can maybe see three. So we're gonna be patient. We're gonna just kind of sit in there and wait and kind of play this thing out. Instead of taking a shot at one, we were hoping maybe we could both shoot at the same time. We sit in there for a minute and all of a sudden a cow stands up and stands broadside to me. And I'm like, I can take the shot. We gave it the old countdown. One, two, three. And I look up over the top of my scope and I see the elk stumble backwards and fall. Right as I watch her fall, I see Dave shoot. Megan, 
you singled out. Yeah, out just shoot it. Shoot him. Shoot him? Yep. Shoot her again. Got her again. Goes back uphill, goes over the hill and expires, and we have two cow elk dead on day one. Unbelievable to get a lay there and shoot a couple of elk like that. It's quite the experience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cha ching, boys, got, ring that bell. <laughs> I can't hear it, dude. Yeah, I only have, yeah. So good, dude. dude. <laughs> Well, All right. Like, like, so. How cool to get to shoot them together. Yeah, dude. One, two, that was three. Yeah. <laughs> That's That's awesome. Way to support us, yeah. buddy. He's carrying stuff. Back up. Yeah. Oh boy. Hey, look at Dakota's face. He's you know, like, now I got to go to work. Yeah. He's like, oh, we got the, <laughs> the real fun. The fun part's over. Uh, <laughs> what a play. Oh, brother. Gosh, that was <laughs> sick, dude. Oh, I'm so jacked. Uh, that thing just went like this. That's a big cow. Boom, that's the one I have. I'm like, oh, I could shoot her. I mean, that's what you want. Obviously, as a hunter, we're, you know, this is super important to us. You want to see the animal go down quick. Dave's just went down over the hill there. So pretty excited. These are big man. animals. They're big yeah. animals. And to, to have them fall right away is not always what happens. So well, you got your range finder. Okay. You one species it? are down. Do we got one. John told us from the beginning the elk was going to be the hardest part. And now we got two cow elk dead on opening morning in the middle of the day. You couldn't ask for anything better. Oh, well, there's two holes. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. It's a big cow too. All right, guys, there she is. What an animal, big cow elk, amazing animals. Look how big these things are, they're like horses. But this is gonna be an amazing, amazing treat for my family and friends. I'm super excited. Thank you very much, dude. Yeah. That was so sick, that was so sick. We're gonna to get to cleaning this thing. Dave and John ran up over the hill to look for the other cow that we saw go down just over the, over the knob here. So we're gonna get this thing gutted, then we'll go up there and get them and we'll meet up with them. So stay tuned, guys. This is, this is next level, man. Deer, elk, what else is next? <laughs> Thank you, girl. <laughs> This is crazy guys, they use these things for farming. He's gonna back down this hill, which is very steep if you can't tell. I'm having to hold the leg open. He's either gonna back down or he'll come front face. I don't know which way he's gonna come, but they, it's amazing. They back down these things and they spray their hillsides and stuff, so pretty cool. Watch this. How far did you go? <laughs> she oh. really went over to the next canyon and was in the bottom of it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take the hooks and let's take the front shoulders off. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> you got one last kick in. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> Anybody see that? That elk <laughs> rolled going. off here and its leg just went whack right in Dave's satchel, dude. Oh, man, down. We're done. Guess it's time to go get a deer now. <laughs> oh, Let's do it, baby. We take care of the animals, we get them all hung, we get everything ready, and then wouldn't you know it, Shay, John's wife, has the most amazing prime rib dinner ready for us. We're gonna eat two dinners. We're eating now, and then we're gonna eat again. We're gonna do a snack now, because yeah. we still gotta go on a hunt, and we all decided that if we ate in large quantity, we would go to bed. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're not moving. Maybe while hunting. <laughs> I mean, this was like full meal deal, prime rib, salad, breads. It was 
an entire spread and we can't thank you enough for providing all the food you did an amazing job everything was this was some of the best hospitality i could ever ask for We were just eating our beautiful dinner. Neighbor called down the road, said he saw a huge buck, bedded down with some doe. So we're jumping in and we're going. We're going to finish dinner later. So John says, what we're going to do, we're going to go out. We're going to go back behind the house. We'll cross the road. And we'll go up on the hill into the farmland and drop in from the top on this buck. And at this point, with Dave and I already harvested our elk, our goal is to try to get Max a buck, and anyone that's hunted with a kid, Max is exceptional. He's a great shot, he'll hike, he'll, I mean, he was out working us and, and wanting more. And we were hoping that this would be the one. That's an antelope, I bet you. Yeah. Oh, there's a deer right here, too. Yeah, what's this that's one? an antelope. Those are both antelopes? Yep. That back one's a nice buck. I saw him, he's a good one. Dude, that's a solid antelope buck. Big horns out here too. <laughs> so crazy. We got guys. We just see antelope now. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> What's next? Giraffe? <laughs> no. We're gonna see a sheep. We're gonna see a big but uh, there's a big antelope buck out here. Really, really nice one. Heavy mass. Really, really nice buck. So, fortunately, they're not in season, and we just get a look at them. It's kind of cool. So, but we are going to stalk a really big buck right now. So we got. We kind of know where he's laying at, and we're gonna go in and make a move on him. Hopefully we can get Max a shot, as long as we don't spoof these antelope right into him. We've hit three species of game animals. Uh, I think there's one, one more large game animal that we can see, which is the big horned sheep. So maybe if we're lucky enough, we'll get some eyes on them, which they're way cool to see. And these ones, they're really big. Cross your fingers, maybe we'll see them. Tucked in tightly. We're doing some sneaky range of driving right here. Where's this buck? It's right in front of us. Just keep close together so we're not separating going over this edge. You guys just stick behind me. I'm just going to walk through here slow because they're going to be. So we drop in off the top and we're all on high alert. We know there's a buck in here somewhere. The whole time we were doing this, I just had this feeling they were behind us. And so I kept turning and looking, turning and looking. And you know, the first three times I did it, there was nothing. And I turned the fourth time and all I see is a, an antler stand up like this and it's a giant. Literally ran right by the side by side. <laughs> they run out the canyon like this and they run up the little draw back about I don't know, two, three hundred yards above us and right over the top into the field. And our hunt's kind of put on pause. So we're like, well, instead of going back and finishing our dinner, we might as well make a hunt of it. So once again, John says, we're going to go on a little walk. Well, a little walk uh, turned into a long walk. We're going to scoot around the edge and you'll be set up on these sagebrush if something pops up that's big. Shoot. What is that mean in your world? I don't know what big it's in this world. I know. I know that's difficult. <laughs> What's big? They'll hold on that like those other deer did. We'll walk the edge and they'll just oh, I do. You're coming back this way. No, we're gonna skate around the edge. Let's just open it. Not be easy. John's stepson, Jace, grabs the spotting scope and spots an absolute monster. And it's not the same buck we just saw, but it's a big, heavy, heavy buck. Yeah. Dude, he's dead. Where? Oh, yeah, is he looking at us? He's watching. Oh, my God, look at him, dude. That's him. That's exactly what I saw. Right there. I think Why he's is he a three by four. Where's all the dust then? 
that left side is what I saw. And he was a beautiful buck. He was bedded down, but he was not in an area that we could shoot him in. But why would he not have his toes? That's weird. All by himself, just laying down. Just laying down after he got it had been a long day. We all just sat there and watched this buck in the spotting scope as the sun set. Couldn't have been more happy with how the day ended. It was more than I could ever imagine, and, and I couldn't wait for day number two. So day two, we all load up in the Ranger. We get out into the fields and we immediately, as we're driving, we see a bunch of does. There was probably 12 or 13 does. Oh my God, there's a herd of them. Not one buck. Not one buck. Well, there's about 12 does just come running out of this draw here. Not a single buck. That's sick. That's super cool. You see him, there? He's right on the edge. You can barely see him. So we're walking in, immediately spot deer. Shooter buck. Right there. Right there. Nice. Yep. Two shooter bucks. Yeah. That's him. So we've hunted this buck for like two years. Have not been able to seal the We've came really close so. Dude, oh there they are. Oh, yeah, oh. that one is. Dude, that's a fing dandy. That's a nice ass dude. Dude, that thing's sick. Out of all these deer that we've seen, it was the first time I've seen John and Dakota both go. That's a giant. So this big can, so they're in that yeah. second canyon. It looks like they're gonna go up over the hill and lay down this big one, which is where I shot my biggest deer ever. And if they all just go lay down and up there. If, if we can do, if they can get them to bed down in that, we can get up on them like within a hundred yards. They come up with a plan, obviously with my knee, I wasn't going up the mountain. Dave, Max, John, and Sean were gonna go up the hill. John was very sure these bucks were gonna feed up over the top and there's a little bowl back there and they were gonna feed into this bowl and they were gonna you know, make a play. They would get up on the top, figure out where they bed at and, and hopefully get an opportunity out of them. Well, Turns out, morning hunt, once again, busted. There's a herd of elk between us and the deer. Herd of elk. Jeez. And we'll come back tonight. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Get set up before they come out. OK, let's go. You got to remember, too, it's 80 degrees out here during the day. 85 degrees, I think it was. It was extremely hot. So we're going to let the deer be, let them go bed, and we'll make a play on them tonight. Another amazing part of John's property is it backs up to a river that has salmon, steelhead, bass, all of the above in it. So we tear up some food and we hop in the ranger and we head to the river to go do some fishing. You take Nick and you guys can start, you guys can go through that section, go on the river road and Look down in the canyon here, see if there's anything better. And you guys can hunt your way down. And we'll go down and we'll just meet you down on the river road at the bottom. I like that idea. Let's go, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> and this is when we did another classic short walk. Well, I guess we're walking all the way to the river. 
Popov's taking the side by side around. Pretty steep, long ways. So, kind of the game plan is we dropped Dave and them off, Dave, Sean, Max, and John, and they're gonna feed off the top of this canyon here and drop in. You can kind of see them way over there. And they're gonna feed off the top of the canyon and meet us down in the river bottom. And then uh, we're gonna take the, the ranger and, and go around and just kind of troop around, scout a little bit, glass a little, and then meet them down at the bottom of the river. So hopefully, we'll turn this back on if we have anything cool happen. We went from the top of the mountain all the way down to the river. It was quite, quite the adventure walking down this thing. About a hundred bucks, Dave gets naked and goes in that water. <laughs> we were glassing back and he's like, see that ridge right there? That's what they're coming down. And I said, like, to the river? Yeah. And he's like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh, Dave, no water? <laughs> no, you don't need water. You don't need it's water. Short walk. It's short walk, this little downhill. <laughs> Cast up in that ripple and then running all the way, just right in the smack middle of it. This short? Yep. And there is a lot of fish in this river. Tons of smallmouth bass, steelhead, salmon, and even alligators. Yeah, I said it, alligators. Look at swimming in the fishing hole. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm like an alligator. I'm like an alligator. <laughs> Pretty sure I missed the steelhead on the spinner. Really? Or a huge bass. Whew. It's a warm one today. <laughs> Obviously, look at David. <laughs> I'm just slithering on the bank, dude. I'm not, I'm, I'm like, I'm leaving a dust trail from the algae, too. Dude, I'm gonna spot a buck right now. <laughs> <laughs> I see one. This is a spike. <laughs> a yearling. <laughs> Big bass, big bass. He's going after it. No, no, no. There he is, there he is. That might, no, it's not him. I got one, but it's not that big. Oh, so cool little bass though. Crush that little tube. Oh, there he is. Got him. Oh, it's a bit bigger one. Ooh, that's a nicer, that's a nicer smallie. It's a little bit nicer one. Pretty fish, red eyes. Another one on the tube. There he is, Dave, there he is. There he is. There he is. Uh, bass? Well, yep. Good size one. I think I got you beat, Max. That's a good one. I caught him. See that? Look at that, guys. Looking for a steelhead, but I'll take him. <laughs> hmm. Try it again. Going for a steelhead. Oh my god! Steelhead. I saw him. He's right there. You're not kidding? No, I'm not kidding. Oh. He just came up and went to grab it. Oh! Did you see that, Sean? There's a steelhead in here. He just chased my spinner right to the bank.
stun started to get low and it was time to uh, make a play to get back into hunt mode. So we head back up. We had the game plan from the morning to go back in where we saw that giant buck, or actually the four bucks. They were all shooter bucks too, really nice ones. We're gonna go try and get on a group of four, four big bucks, but the smallest one in there is bigger than this. And this is a big buck. <laughs> and believe me, I've seen a lot of deer. So let's go try and get on them. We're gonna make a play on these bucks, so fingers crossed, let's go. And we're like, you gotta be kidding me. Another elk gonna blow one of our hunts. watch this hillside and just see if any you know anything comes out right before dark I look up and here's a cow elk again I can see ears flickering and we're all froze at this point The elk is one of my favorite animals in the world and it was honestly it was majestic dude just sit there and watch them and just watch them graze and feed and be so close to those wild animals was so cool but it was a matter of time before they winded us the scary part was is if those elk wind us and go up and over this knob we've now blown our hunt for the evening again That's the same bowl from the herd we shot our cows out of. Very nice bull. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty sick. We got to watch that cow wind us. The wind swirled one time and she had her nose up and she swirled out. And they just all came running from different directions. There's a big bowl in there too, but it's close for bowls. Right now we've already filled our elk tags, so the wrong species, but pretty dang cool. They were 10 yards off our feet. The elk didn't get the best of us. They all kind of stampede out and then they cut across the hill in the perfect direction, kind of ran up over and then just started feeding again one knob over. It was getting darker out. John was kind of getting, I think, a little nervous. He popped up and started to walk over to look to see if he could see these bucks coming out. About the time him and Max got up and started moving a little bit, Dakota says, get down, get down. And sure enough, you look up on the skyline and there's a buck you can see way, way up there. That buck we saw this morning. That's the big one. The big one. 
Uh, is it coming out of from exactly where we saw him this morning? But we're losing light fast. We have to make a move. We're gonna go at the top of here, and Dakota and Nick are gonna be staying here for watch for us to let us know if they make any moves. We're gonna be coming up, and it's gonna be real close quarters. So we'll see how it goes. Pretty much sprinted across the bottom of that canyon. We got to the to the other side and we worked our way up. It was a pretty good, pretty good fast-paced climb to the top of this thing. Had to take a couple breaks. <laughs> he had to take a couple breaks. John was telling Dad to put his hands above his head to get his lungs flowing air through him. You want to be able to breathe good so you can get a good shot if you're doing this. <sighs> You, you can't hold your crosshairs on the animal to get a good ethical kill. We try to get Max set up on it. John gets the stick set up. Max comes up and it's gone. We don't see it anymore. We're kind of up on the very top of this thing now. We've got the, we got the cliff on the left side. John was probably 80 yards away from me and he spots him. And he's like, we're gonna have to do this quick. He gets the sticks up and I popped up. Oh, drilled him. Drilled There's him. another one. Yeah. Then all of a sudden we saw a couple other deer, we saw another doe shoot out, and then we saw the other buck. No, that's he's gonna go down the cliff. All I could see was his head because he was behind the sagebrush. But he took like four steps, he stopped, he looked back at me. I swung my crosshairs across him and right when it got behind his shoulder, shot him. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god! Dude, you fold in him, Max. You oh, folded him like a taco. Dude, Let's go. I love you, brother. I love you, brother. That was amazing. I couldn't have asked for that to go any better. Let's go. What just happened? Nobody panic. Nobody panic. Oh, I love you, son. Oh, I love you, son. Oh, yours just, yours just got up and flopped around. Max, is, it's still rearing around. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's rolling. It's rolling. It just rolled off the, it's rolling. We had a little panic moment. The deer started to roll down the, the cliff a little bit, so John and Max ran over, and you can see it's a cliff right here. John got a hold of it, and it didn't go down, but it, it would have been a serious, serious problem if this deer would have went off this cliff. Look at that buck, Max. Look at this buck. Oh my God, boys. Did you even see your buck? Yes, I did. It's freaking yeah, massive. It's awesome. But this was even awesomer. Just to watch that, like, we're just like, don't worry about it, we're good. And then I'm like, keep watching it. And, and then it comes and up, and he stops, and that thing just folds. Max, great I had, shot. I had a gut feeling not to pass oh. that buck. I, we almost had given up hope, boys. The buck busted we us. We thought they were gone. It was a different busted one. Busted us, ran down, and they, Dave thought he went down this way, and I was like, I'm gonna go look this way. And they were just standing right here. Four by four with eye guards. Look at that. Nobody panic. You didn't panic like your old man. You were calm and cool and collective, buddy. Oh my god. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at, I'm, your, dude, I'm literally shaking right now. I think your war paint worked. Oh my gosh. Big, beautiful mule deer. With eye guards. Okay, we only got a quick glimpse of mine. Let's go over and check it out. Is this the one? It's the one. This is uh, the big one we were looking at this morning. Bye bye four. Wow. He's steam. Oh God, he's huge though. 
Look how big he is. Look at that thing. Hey guys. Big pop of meal deer. Look at that, John. Look at this thing. <laughs> Got a little inline on his back. Oh yeah. Little ring hanger. Look at that, guys. And it's just a big, big boy. You took me up the craziest downhill today, and then the craziest uphill, man. Was it worth it? Oh, dude, I can taste <laughs> I can taste the blood in my throat about halfway up that hill. What do you think, pal? Yeah, a little bit We're never gonna there. forget this for the rest of our lives, brother. Well, Dave, you gave me some of the best memories with my father as a kid. Yeah, you know, John, uh, first time John and I met, how old were you? Probably Max's age. Maybe a little younger. Maybe yeah. a little younger even, up at my lodge in Alaska, his dad brought up. Now he brings his dad up. Yep. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's way cool. <laughs> pretty cool. Oh. <sighs> I mean, how wide do you think this sucker is, John? <laughs> yeah. Look at John. Look at this, guys. Big boy. It's a big deer. Oh, Lord. Once we had a second to calm down and we got the bucks together and we got some great pictures, it was just such an amazing time, such an amazing feeling to be able to do something like that with my son and my good buddy John um, to be a part of that. It was just the most amazing hunt I've ever been on. It was just the time of our lives. Oh my God, David! Dude, it was crazy. We, I knew it dude, was when you guys crested the hill. I'm like, we just kept saying they're gonna shoot, they're gonna shoot. All right, guys, in uh, true tradition, this is Max's biggest buck ever. Maybe it may never happen again where him and his dad get to shoot an animal like that. Amazing experience, but it's in uh, true fashion that you got to take a bite of the heart. <laughs> so here, Max is 12 years old, absolute savage, <gasps> just smoked a giant buck by himself side by side with his dad let's get it max <laughs> big bite dude it's heart come on oh, look at the blood oh, out. Yeah, There's the buddy. chew that up how's that taste oh boy oh it tastes like meat <laughs> <laughs> like look at he took a pretty big bite that's too. a good bite dude hey hey ready ready down Gone. All right. yeah, brother hey, well, oh, he's seconds. going back for more he's going for seconds yeah he's hungry after all this walking sure. ready Better buck. Oh, this is... Roman knows they, so from fighting, when they fight, they'll break their they'll butt their heads together and they'll break their nose and it reheals and they uh, get oh. I have a Roman nose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's been, been, he, been broke a few he's times. He's been punching the nose a few times. Ooh. Couple. And like wow. most most animals get that. From overage fighting of breaking right. and rehealing and breaking and rehealing. Right. You want to know it's what the worst nose break I ever had was? I was working on a drill press. You know how you like wind the drill down, you know, and it like auto comes mm -hmm. back. <laughs> My hand slipped <laughs> off of it and it just teed off on me. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Before I could even get out just of the way, like, I got hit four just, times. Just dude. like punching back. And blah, 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 blah. Dude, I wanted to cry, but there's too many people around, dude. So I just acted like nothing happened. Dude. That's how I got my first uh, Roman nose. You can see where our elk are hanging up here. Those holes that go into the tendons on the back of their heels there. That's how we hang them and so they get some air circulating around them to cool off. And Dakota's hand building one of those uh, little mounts there to, to bend out, flare out, so you can hang on the hoofs there. And get them hung up just like the, the elk are. So two bucks, two cows. One more buck to go. Let's do it, baby. Crazy animals. Look at these, look how big their bodies are. They're freaking huge. Look at their neck. Their head's just a big cinder block. So day three starts and I'm the Lone Ranger now. 
You know, you don't have anyone to back you up. You don't have anyone to, you know, if a buck jumps out from behind, there's nobody to shoot. You know, you're kind of by yourself on this. But it was also some relief because you have all these extra eyes now focusing on just for you. So we, we make this play and we, John's like, let's go back to where, you know, we haven't been in this canyon for a while. And it was actually the canyon the day we jumped that big one out of the ditch. What's that one? That's a nice buck. The other one was far away. Shoot her. So we get set up on this buck, and all I haven't even really looked at the buck's antlers. I'm just focused on getting on the animal and waiting for John to tell me to shoot. Oh, oh. Do you want to stop me? 207. Stop him. Should I stop him? Meh. Nick was asking me, John, just let me have the go ahead. I said, shoot it, but. That's got some weird stuff going on with it. I don't know what's going on with his antlers. He turned sideways, still haven't seen what this buck is at this point. I just know that John told me to shoot and it's his land and I, I trust him. You hit him, you hit him, should we reload, reload. Should we stop him? He's gonna go down right here, Nick, watch. Watch this, he's gonna go down. There he goes. He's going down. You hit him on the first Are you kidding me, boy? Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! You you, on the first I knew I hit him, you dude. I was like, oh, you I heard that smack. Oh, it smacked. It was so loud, smackaroo. Oh, <laughs> nice job. I don't know what he is, but it's a buck, and it's my oh, last day of hunting, God. and I'm jacked, dude. Dude, that was a good hit on that first shot. Just smack a pooey. Like good shot, man. I don't know what he is, but he looked weird, dude. I don't know. I don't he know looks either. heavy. He looked big. He looked really burst, heavy. But... We got a long hike to the ranger here. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was oh. this was the deer we needed for our current lake yeah. situation here. Yeah. So, so I don't know if you guys have noticed, but like a couple of those hikes that they went on, I couldn't do. I I was coming out of my trailer fishing the other day, carrying two boxes of bait, and I slipped, and literally, I didn't even think I was going to make it to the hunt. So. I don't care what it is. I'm a happy man. That was pretty oh, cool, dude. That was so like, awesome. Nobody knows what we shot at this point. And John says, I don't know what it is, but I know it's got a bunch of weird stuff going on. There he is. There he is. Oh, what do you got? Oh, it's a drop. Dude, he's got a dropper. No. A cool dropper. Oh, my God. Look at it. Oh, oh he's broken. Oh, no. Was that from the shooting? No, his answers are like that. No. That's how they formed. And we get up to this thing and it is a mess. Oh, oh my God, God, dude. Look at that nasty. Dropper. Oh my oh, God, God, look at it. I wanted one. Dude, look at double. What the Look at these double eye guards. Weird. Dude. Look at these double. Triple, bars. triple. Uh, triple. I, you guys check oh this out. Oh my God. I told John coming out here. You did. I am all about weird and crazy oh. bucks. And this thing is about as look weird and crazy as you get. Look, look at it split. Oh, look, it look at split. What, what the, the hell is this little crap? What's this? Off? What are those? <laughs> what, are, what are those things? It's the nutsack buck. Dude, what, <laughs> what the hell? Dude. Oh, are you fucking kidding me right this now? This is crazy. I got a nutsack box. It's like one of those things that you hang on the back of your truck. Dude. It looked like he had gored another animal and literally taken the other animal's testicles with him. <laughs> there was so much character and wild things as you could see going on with this. Oh, it is a freako. He was weird. I was like, he was weird. <laughs> John did. He said he's got a lot of weird stuff. <laughs> and this is a real weird <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's dude. about as suited for Nick as I can imagine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh that is so Look at how cool that is down below his eyes. That oh, is dude. so crazy. Dude, dude in the white, like <laughs> Oh my god. Look at the mask. <laughs> Uh, look at the crab claw he's got right here, dude. It's like, how you doing, sir? <laughs> nice to meet you. So in velvet, he must have broke 
the part that looks like the nutsack buck was actually the velvet that wrapped over the top of that crab claw that he had shed off. But it was his antlers were so crisscrossed that the velvet was pinched in between them. Dude, cool. honestly, when I looked over and saw him, I I thought it was like bushes in his antlers. The base dude. is a look at that. Look at it's that. huge at the base. That is an amazing cool. This is, I'm, I'm dude, it is That's so cool. cool. As anything I've ever dude, what is at. it? He's a one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, seven by five. one, two, two three, three, four, four five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five. Seven by nine. <laughs> a seven by nine <laughs> with a set of nuts. <laughs> you know, Nick told me, I, I want to get something with character, something unique. Well, Nick, that's about as unique as you will ever get. I didn't know if I really wanted the, the ball sack on it. <laughs> but I'll take it. It's a bonus, and it's a bonus for you guys, because that's some funny stuff right there. Uh, oh. I mean, this is, I've been on some hunting trips, and this is, this is amazing. Dave's hunted all over the country, and I mean, this is just Best top. trip by a million ever. Ever. <laughs> Yeah. And getting to do it with my best friend, his son. John's not just one of our clients. He has become one of our very good friends, and this is a very special treat for us. So we thank you guys. Thank you, Pops. Thank you, everyone. Let's go get the deer taken care of, and then we're going to go catch a steelhead. Let's go, baby. We're doing it. Wait till you see what's on it. Jesus, I didn't even see that part. <laughs> Look at the nutsack. <laughs> Dude, is there a better deer for me or what? <laughs> Look, it's a 9 by 7 with that. a set of nuts. That was unbelievable. Now it's time to go back to fishing. Ranger seen some work in the last few days. Yeah. So uh, we're we're going down the, literally the craziest, steepest switchback trail to get down to the river. We're in one of the tightest corners, the steepest downhill parts, and all of a sudden our tires start spinning. We're going out of control. John's got his foot on the brake, looking at like what the hell's going on. Sean had his foot slipped over on the gas pedal on the ledge was about this close to killing all of us. I mean, if John didn't rip his leg off the gas pedal, we would have gone off the side of that cliff and all died. So, luckily we're still here, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, well, we just got down to the river. We almost died. Nick's gotta go clean his shorts out. He's walking back over there. Gonna go do a little fishing now, so we'll see what happens. We're gonna look for a steelhead. What do you think? I think we can find one? I think we can, yeah. I think we can search one out. Got one, Max? Bass. Nice. Sweet, girl. Fishing nails. Kill smaller. Cool, smallie. These smallies bite, man. There it is. Might be a nicer one. Got a little smallie. Pretty cool fish. God, he's a fighter. He's down here, there's no really fish. Yeah, great. Yeah. Beauty.
So if I could wrap this trip up in one, one word, it would be exceptional. Just from top to bottom, the camaraderie, the, the laughing, the storytelling, I mean, it was all just an A plus. This will forever hold a treasure in my memories with these guys, you know, with Nick, Max, Dakota, Dave, it was awesome. And you know, Nick and I get to do a lot of, a lot of fun things together, but to get the experience this hunting trip with Nick was was uh, next to none. He's my best bud and we sure have a lot of fun, but this is one that's gonna be really hard to top. All right, guys, that's a wrap. There goes our meat, there goes our antlers. <laughs> what a hell of an experience. Our meat's going to get processed at a local game plant here that where they take care of wild game and uh, we're gonna get it made into all sorts of uh, stuff. The pepperoni John's been bringing oh, us these last few years. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It is unbelievable. <laughs> Honey barbecue. Honey, Honey barbecue, barbecue for all of yep. you out there. <laughs> and uh, the heads and the antlers are going to go to a tax, the local taxidermist here, which you guys will see. We're going to have some really cool stuff. Might even bring them to the sportsman shows or something for you guys to check out and see them in person because they're they're special. So what an amazing experience, John, it off. Steve, Shay, Dakota. We can't thank you enough. Seriously, from the bottom of our heart, man, that was unbelievable. Experience. Trip of a lifetime. Trip of a lifetime. And you guys keep following along. You're going to see some more of this kind of activities. Yeah, let us know if you like this kind of stuff, because I think there's going to be more to come here in the future. Yes, sir. Yeah, baby. Every once in a while, my wiener rubs on the rocks. A little algae on it. Oh. <laughs> Get it all. It's scented, dude. No, if I catch a steal at this gas, <laughs> oh, bring him over. Call Steve Lynch. We gotta meet the flavor. <laughs> Call Steve. Sean, get out of here. Sean's trying to get me going early morning. <laughs> Dave, get out of the bathroom. I'm serious, dude. I gotta shoot. I'm telling you, there's a turn. I gotta go. I'm in the woods. Okay, hold on, dude. I'm telling you, though. I got a nut sack bomb. It's like one of those things that you hang on the back of your truck. Dude. Soft? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god! Dude, you're folding him, Max. You're folding him like a taco. Dude, I love you, brother. I love you, brother. That was amazing. I couldn't have asked for that to go any better. Let's go. What just happened? Nobody panic. Nobody panic. Oh, I love you, son.